Praise the Lord. Good morning. Good morning. It is. It's a good morning, Father God. A, a day I've never seen before. And thank you, Father God, for this day that I'll never see again. Thank you, Father God, for waking me up this morning and starting me on my way. The alarm clock didn't wake me up. The alarm clock alarms us. And a lot of us should be alarmed to be alive as mean, as nasty, as racist, as bigoted, as one-sided, one -sided, as obnoxious as you are. Listen, again, mean, racist, double-minded, loud, obnoxious. Can't nobody tell you nothing. You always got something mean and dry to say. You always got something crazy, haphazard, one-sided, hot mouth, cold-hearted to say. Listen to that. And this is one person. And some of y'all are married to this person. <laughs> oh, man, 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 man. As I leave just along. Accountability and responsibility <laughs> equals a person. I don't have no right to talk to you any kind of way. I don't. Just sitting here in the rest area before I uh, head back out. I'm headed to uh, Milwaukee, go visit a friend of mine. I told him I was going to check him out. And he ain't been doing too well. He's in a. Uh, at the VA hospital, so I told him I'd come see him. So I'm just on in the rest area, just chilling. And um, me and Sergeant Deal were talking this morning. He called me, asked me when I come see him. Sergeant First Class Deal. I said, man, yeah, I'm throwing some rags and come up there and see. Dave, come talk to me. I'm in his bed, I can't move. And the Lord told me to call you to come up here. So I'm going to go up here and see my brother. And uh, me and Sergeant Deal go all the way back to Darmstadt, Germany. 11th Signal, 32nd Aircon. And uh, man, it was Patriot Defense Battery. And we, I had a ball in the field with him. So yeah, that, that's, that's my brother. That's my that's my partner. That's my P-O-T-N-A. And when we was in the Army together, that was my partner. Cause I knew he had my front and my back. You know what I'm saying? My top and my bottom, you know? So just got a lot on my mind, man. I'm, I'm trying to encourage him on the way up there. I'm gonna ask our father to give me the words and the prayers and the songs to share with him as I leave this alone. I mean, but man, you, you mean, I mean, I, I know you're going to turn this message off. Soon you hear somebody say you mean, you gone. You disrespectful. You gonna, you going to tune it out. You talk to people any kind of way. That's my mouth. <laughs> Lord, I mercy. A lot of mercy. And Patois, a lot of mercy. I, I, I don't know. Me and my son, we talk so, so much and so often, so deeply. He goes, Dad. How come you and mom didn't make it? I told him mouth. He just started bawling, laughing. Yeah, mouth, Junior. Who wants to be? I mean, some of y'all with somebody right now that talks to you any kind of wanna. Hey, I'm kind of wow. Any kind of way they want to. Yeah. But I can do without. I can do without that. I can do without that. And I had to do without it. How you gonna talk to this man or this woman? Well, you, this my wife, this my husband, this my man, this my woman, <laughs> this my mouth. That's your loneliness, that's your coldness, that's your divorce, that's your alligator, those are your alligator tears, that's your stalking. You have, you, you have put your, your marriage, your relationship, your heart and mind on layaway for pain. Degradation, demise, divorce, downtrodden. Man, the, the deep principle, death, demons, depression. As I leave this alone. All because of how you talk to this man or this woman that you say, profess, and confess that you love. But look at how you talk to her, brother. Man. Look how you talk to him, sister. But people claim they love you. But the way they talk to you then, see, the greatest decision to make is when you're not mad. That's the greatest way to make a decision is when you're not angry. It's easy to want to get rid of somebody when they talk to you any kind of way, cheating on you, whatever the case may be. But this, out of the same mouth, thank you, Holy Ghost, proceeded both blessing and cursing. My brethren, this not also to be. It shouldn't be this way. One minute you're praying for the person. One minute you're praying on them. One minute you're praying. One minute you're cussing. That's man. 
That's that's man go back, back, forth and forth. So we have to decide who you gonna be. You gonna be Satan, Diablo, Shatan? Uh oh, you gonna be Mary, Mary had a little lamb. Uh, his fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. But so many of us slaughter people. I mean, with your mouth, your attitude, the way you respond, and get, and, and this this is my favorite. Telling somebody off <laughs> gets you a lot of likes. But telling somebody off uh, disrespectfully and because you think you can make a lot of people dislike you. I don't do nothing for no likes. I don't care who liked me. The Bible says, oh, no man, nothing but love. I don't care nothing about no like. Love spelled backwards is Evo, the root word of evolution, E-V-O-L. And that's love spelled backwards. I don't care about no damn likes. Some of y'all won't like you. Your husband, your wife, your kids don't even like you. <laughs> your coworkers don't like you. Your mommy and daddy probably don't like you. I don't know. Let me say mom-in-law and daddy-in-law as I leave this alone. I'm trying to wake us up in this mind here, y'all. Yeah, you got you, you can you talk to a person any kind of way. You can text it, you leave voicemail messages, you can email it, if you can say anything, you can do anything. Yeah. So I'm headed up to Milwaukee, man, and she saw the deal. I told my son, don't put up on no verbal abuse, Junior. If 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 if, if, well, if, if she leaving you nasty voicemail messages and stuff, don't listen to him. That's pre-recorded hate. If he leaving you nasty voicemail messages, don't listen to him. Siete, press seven, zip zig. That's that's pre-recorded hate. I woke up like this. Happy Sunday morning, everybody, everyone, everywhere. But how can you talk to that man all kinds of ways, and then you get into you get heated, you want some booty. How can you talk to that woman all kinds of ways, then you get in, in, in heat, and then you want her? But all that horrible name calling and screaming and yelling and fussing and cussing and putting one another down, you can't touch me. You can wash your mouth out with Don Dish Detergent. You're not going to touch me. I don't care. Because when a person is drunk with anger, it's just like they drunk with alcohol, old saying, a drunk man talks or a drunk woman talks is a sober man or sober woman thoughts. I'm going to put it to you straight. A person that's intoxicated can say a whole lot of stuff they wanted to say, uh, want to say only when they drunk with liquor. A person that can say a lot of stuff when they're angry, they want to say that when they're not angry. You better pay attention. That's a message as I leave this alone. But. When we get before our Father in heaven, when I go be before our Father, when you go, when I get to judgment, our Father not going to ask me, uh, Brother Davis. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just, you know, Brother Davis. You're not going to say, Brother Davis, why did such and such talk to you, 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 like, like, like this, this, this? No. Our Father in heaven is going to ask me, Brother Davis, why did you, 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 you talk to that person like that, that, that? As I leave this alone. So I ask our father to ball me up when I'm wrong. Verbally, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, morally. Ball me up, father. Make me feel bad. So I won't ever do it again. Give me godly sorrow. For when I do you wrong, father God. You know? So those of you who like to talk to people any kind of way. And those of you who have spoken to someone any kind of way. A lot of people see it by themselves because of verbal abuse. Raise your hand, raise your hand if you're sure. <laughs> a lot of people are skittish, standoffish, and still outgoing at the same time. But all the verbal abuse a lot of us have put up with and taken, it scarred us and messed us up. Ask our Father to heal you. Ask our Father to forgive you. And try not to hurt nobody, man, and go on about your business. Let me get on down the road. Let me ease on down the road, get to Milwaukee. I pray he's touching somebody that's hard in mind. No, he don't want to kiss. No, she don't want to kiss. No, they don't want you no more. Because of how you didn't talk to him. And you need to hear this. When you're not fussing and fighting, all that's still going to be on your mind. What's been said to you. I pray you're healing. Peace. One.